Hello, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the first time. So today I wanted to take a look at the PAL Kitty RGB30 again. You guys know that this is one of my favorite devices. It has certainly become my go-to for my lower end handheld console gaming, such as Game Boy. Um, and here I wanted to just take a look at the Game Boy games running through Switch Online, through Nintendo, on the Nintendo Switch, versus the same thing running on the PAL Kitty RGB30. Um, no doubt emulation through the PAL Kitty is superior. The screen is gorgeous. Yes, it's not OLED. This is an OLED screen, and you can see that this is, you know, pretty good looking. I'm going to play a little footage here for you guys, just kind of show you. And, um, you know, you can get authentic Nintendo emulation by playing, you know, through Nintendo Online on the Switch. Um, if you're a member of Nintendo Online like, like I am. And definitely can get something that's, you know, fairly authentic. Um, however, this right here is pocketable. A lot more easier to hold. And definitely just, you know, looks great. It just looks really, really great. Um, another advantage is that you cannot really change a lot of settings on the Switch. Um, emulation. Here, you guys know that, you know, if I wanted to change the color, I can go in here to the um, core options. And we can go and change the internal color. Um, we can do, let's do something crazy like cotton candy. And we have just, you know, changed the color here. And uh, definitely made it look different. Or if we want to give it a little more color, we can go in here and change it. Let's do something a little more fun. Uh, let's try the sunburst. I haven't tried this one, so let's see what this looks like. Whoa, that's bright. Um, that's almost more cotton candy than the other one. Um, but again, um, playing Super Mario Land 2 here um, on Game Boy, you know, you can see that um, it just, it just, this Pal Kitty is just so amazing uh, and really gives you a lot of advantages that you don't have necessarily. Uh. And here we have another example. Let's take a look at the Game Boy Advance. We have Metroid Fusion here. And here it is running on the Switch, um, again through the Nintendo um, online program. You can see that it looks pretty good on this OLED screen, nice and wide. You do get a, a full big picture um, on this Switch screen, which is, you know, bigger than the Pal Kitty. But once again, it just looks so beautiful um, on this, on the Pal Kitty screen here. I know the lighting here is not the best, um, but man, it just looks great and fluid. The screen is nice. Everything is beautiful about it. You can certainly upscale. You can add different filters and make things just look really great. Um, once again, I just am enjoying it on this Pal Kitty much, much more than um, playing the same thing, you know, on the Switch. Although on the Switch, it's not bad. It's not like it's bad in any kind of way. Um, it is good. Um, but, you know, when you consider the difference in cost, yeah, it's a no-brainer. The Pal Kitty is uh, definitely... Though I don't know how many people, you know, purchase a Switch um, for emulation. Unless you have the, a modded Switch. Um, but that's... That's definitely just another beautiful um, example here. That's been a very quick look at um, Nintendo Switch online emulation with Game Boy um, versus the PAL Kitty RGB30. Again, a device I highly recommend. Also, once again, you can buy one of these handles on Etsy through Rob3D's uh, printing shop if it's something you would be interested in. Um, make sure you guys hit like and subscribe and let me know what else you'd like to see in these videos.